With the HTV firmly in place now on the Harmony connecting node, uh, the leak checks uh, will complete uh, the day's activity, essentially. Uh, tomorrow will be hatch opening at about 1.20 p.m. Central Time, enabling the crew, the Expedition 20 crew on the station, to begin uh, the work uh, to get inside and begin to unload some five tons of cargo from the forward end of uh, the HTV that has now mated to Harmony, that being the pressurized logistics carrier. The midpoint of the uh, HTV that you see, uh, that pallet on the left side uh, in the hull of the HTV, that is the exposed pallet. Two science experiments are housed on that pallet. Next Wednesday, that pallet will be grappled by Canadarm2 and extracted from the hull of the HTV, handed off to the Japanese robotic arm at the end of the Kibo Science Lab. That uh, pallet will be installed on the porch of Kibo, known as the exposed facility that was mated uh, back on the STS-127 mission. And one by one, those experiments will be um, removed from the pallet and installed on the exposed facility. The pallet then on Friday, a week from tomorrow, will be reinstalled in the hull of the HTV, its job uh, having been completed for this mission. So with that, uh, the HTV has joined the International Space Station as the latest cargo ship in the fleet, uh, now servicing the International Outpost, a very smooth grapple at 2.47 p.m. Central Time, and at 5.26 p.m. Central Time, HTV hard-mated to the International Space Station. One programming note, tomorrow morning we resume with our normal International Space Station commentary hour on NASA television at 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. For now, from the International Space Station Flight Control Room, this is Mission Control Houston.